Welcome back to the parking lot preview. Here we are on a cloudy Friday afternoon, July 21st. Ready for another Harbor Hawks battle tonight. I'm Mike Maynard alongside Jason Bouet filling in for Matt Coates. Matt, a little late to the game today. Not trying to call him out, but a little bit. Hey, Matt didn't show up on time. We got Jason here, though. I'm happy to have him. I'd like to say all the other times Matt's actually filling in for me, and then these are the best ones. Oh, you and me. I 100% agree. Honestly, if I could have it any other way, I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know if that made sense. Anyway, we have, we have Owen Coppinger with us hello, today, hello. Um, ready for a, a special night tonight special night um, in at McKean Park. Park. Oh, and I just want to start, how is your Friday going so far? My Friday is going good. Uh, I had work today and I get to come straight here for some baseball. How could it get any better? I, uh, maybe a win. A win would be nice. What would that make us now? What is that, 9-0-1? That would make us yeah. very good in the last 10 games. Very good. Very good indeed. Don't know the exact. Do you I think, know? I a lot think of it runs. might be nine zero and one. Come on, I don't man. know when that loss came. I'm on came. top of it. I think you're right. I think Thank you're you. right. Thank you. All right, you heard it here. We're nine zero and one if we win tonight. Um, cool. Anyways, Hyannis taking on the Harwich Mariners tonight. Hyannis coming in twenty twelve and two. Harwich coming in fifteen eighteen and one. So, you look at the records. Hyannis Harbor Hawks looking like the uh, favorite to win the game, but you never know. I want to touch on last night. Harwich ended up beating number one seed Katuit. Um, with a score of 10 to 2. So, Harwich is capable of beating these good teams, and, uh, you know, hopefully they don't do that tonight. Well, you know, last time out against Harwich, there was that 5 5 tie. Kind of felt like a loss. It wasn't great. So, we know Harwich is a good competitive team. You know, we've been playing so hot recently, and really more what I like is that Katuit isn't doing very well. They blew, a, they blew a 10 run lead the other day to mm -hmm. tie it, and then lost yesterday. So, you know, Harbor Hawks win tonight, get some more points in the standings. It should be. Good, good workout for that. Yeah, you talked uh, last night about Katuit's loss. Last night, Hyannis came home with a win last yeah, night, 15-5 to five against Orleans. So, Harwich coming off a big win, Hyannis coming off a big win. Two teams looking for uh, their momentum to be carried into this game. We'll see who really can get it done, but uh, hopefully it's Hyannis. We're hoping at least. Um, anyways, Zach York last night was the player of the game for the writers at least um, for the Hyannis Harbor Hawks. Two for four, four RBIs, two walks, and a monster home run. Um, he's been on fire as of late. We know we, we've talked about him too much at this point. Not too much. Zach, we love you. You're great. You're so good at baseball. We are happy to have you on the team, but we've talked about him a lot. So we'll move on. Um, but tonight should be a good one. I want to touch on the specialties of tonight, though. Owen here is kind of not in charge, but you're helping a lot with, yes. with tonight's special activities. Explain to the viewers what tonight is going to be about. So tonight is Christmas in July. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you everybody. Guys too. Hope Santa brings you something good. Um, tonight we have Santa being represented here at the ballpark. He will be here. Um, he made it all the way down from the North Pole? Yeah, apparently he did. I had to call him on his direct line, though. Huh. Um, we will also be having a snowball fight, so get ready for that because I'm hunting you guys down, just so you know. Um, we will be having no a pie eating contest. Do. Decorations are everywhere. Uh, the feelings are, what's the saying? It's in the mood. It's beginning what? to feel a lot like Christmas. Thank you. That's what I was aiming for. <laughs> Couldn't get it out, but uh, I'm happy to be here and help out. Yeah, it should be a really fun night. Obviously, like you said, a bunch of fun stuff going on. Christmas exactly. music as well. Yes, sir. Who couldn't be happy at Bikini Ballpark tonight? If you're not here, hurry up, and you better start driving. Depending yeah. on where you are, you're not going to make it. Um, but, yeah, first pitch, 6 o'clock tonight. Be there or be square. Be here or be square. Yeah, um, it should be a really fun one tonight. And, like I said, two teams going off big wins. Two teams similar standings, uh, or similar in the standings. So, should be a good game. We'll hop into the starting pitch up starting pitching matchup real quick. We do it in one take, everybody. Um, <laughs> high hands on the mound, Zach Volker, a familiar face. Uh, fourth, four starts for him so far this summer. A 4.1 ERA, 16 strikeouts, eight walks in 15.1 innings pitched, and only one earned run in his last two outings, which combined for nine innings. So he's coming off like nine good innings, only giving up one run. Um, we're looking for a good start out of Zach Volker. What have you seen out of him recently, Jason? I mean, you mentioned it, one earned run over his last nine innings is Second to last time out was those five no-hit innings in Wareham where he was just absolutely dominant. And they followed it up with a good four-inning, one-run performance. So he's just really found his groove here as of late on the Cape, which is great to see. And I think he'll continue it tonight. Yeah, well, you talk about dominant. Hopefully we don't see a continued domination for Harwich's pitcher Reed Easterly, lefty out of Yale. So far, only two appearances. One start, though, zero ERA. You don't like to hear that when it's an opponent, but... Four strikeouts, two walks, and seven innings pitched only for Reed Easterly. So, 
you never know. Not a lot of experience on Cape. These Harbor Hawks could hit last night. Hopefully they hit tonight. 15 runs put on the board last night. Maybe look for something like that tonight. But Reeve Easterly has only showed dominance so far on the mound for Harwich. And you know, like I said, hopefully that's not the case tonight. But you never know. Anyways, Owen, you've been here from the start of the summer. Yes, sir. I want to know, how's your experience been with the Harbor Hawks? How's your summer going? I am loving it. Um, grew up playing baseball forever, stopped in college, brokenhearted, but still love the game. And to be able to watch it every other night, it's amazing, man. I can't get enough. That's great. I love to hear that. And, you know, I feel like every Harbor Hawks intern that we've had on here seems to be having a great time. Yeah. It's almost like people should intern for the Hyannis Harbor Hawks. I think so. I think it's a pretty good time. Yeah, I think it's a great time, too. You know, we're both interns as well. You know, I never asked you, Jason. How's your summer going so far? You know, far? it's going pretty well. I like watching baseball, and I get to do it every day. So, not too bad. And there's definitely not Leah Rogers behind us with the menacing look. Yeah, I don't have a gun held to my head from behind the camera or anything. Um, I love it here, too. Anyways... <laughs> Um, where were we? Okay, player of the games. We're going to start with, uh, I guess, Owen. Go ahead. Who right, you got? I'm, player going, of the game tonight. I'm going John John. He's going to spray the ball around the field tonight. A lot of hits. I'm excited. All right, real quick, short <laughs> to the that, point. John John yeah. Gazdar, your pick there. No go ahead. Uh, or not, I'm going to go, actually. Okay. If you don't mind. Uh, after um, you. Not going to lie, I forget who I was going to pick. Okay, Brandon Ike, new guy. First game last night in the lineup again tonight. We do have a lineup. Surprising, I know. Viewers out there. You know how it's been. Shocked. I know. I've picked so many guys that have not been in the lineup tonight. It's a guarantee. He'll probably get pinch hit for in the first inning. But Brandon Ike's my pick. He had a home run last night in his first game with the team, hitting almost 400 in whatever league he was with before. It doesn't matter because now he's in the good one in the Cape Cod Baseball <laughs> League. But Brandon Ike, a nice guy, that, or a good guy that can play in multiple different positions. He played first and third last night. Forget where he is tonight, but he should be somewhere. We know he's somewhere. He should be hitting he's the playing. ball. He's playing. That's all that matters. He's going to hit, and hopefully he hits another home run. Hopefully he hits a couple, maybe like four or five. Four or five runs straight out of Brandon Ike would be pretty nice. But, yeah, uh, why not? Yeah, why not? Anyway, so I'll kick it to you, Jason. I'm going to go with the guy that got the party started yesterday. Will Taylor he hit a home run. I think it was in the second inning, and then, you know, the Harbor Hawks batted around in that inning. And he got the scoring started and made sure the Harbor Hawks weren't down for too long and just looked really good, made a great catch in center field. He's been playing very well as of late. I think it'll continue your night. Yeah, definitely a big game out of Will Taylor. Again, like you said, started the rally. Hopefully he starts the rally tonight against Reed Easterly. Again, zero ERA. Someone's got to get it started, though. Someone's got to get those runs coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully it's Will Taylor, Brandon Ike, or John John Gazdar, or anyone. I don't really care. Just win. Yeah, just, it, just score some runs. all that matters. That'd be pretty cool. Going yeah. into the all-star break with the W. Yeah. Love to hear it. Anyways, Owen, thank you for being here. Thank Jason, you for having me. Thank you for filling in for Matt. Matt. Be on time next time. Um, we're all disappointed. And I, I'm sure your family is too. No, I'm kidding. Love you, Matt. Love you, Jason. Love you, Owen. Thank you, Mackenzie, for recording. Shout out to Keel Block behind the camera. We'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully the Hawks win tonight. And uh, thank you for watching. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Merry Christmas. Go Hawks. Merry